All right, guys, welcome to another video. And today I want to talk about when you should really consider sending in your application to the schools you have shortlisted. I mean, there's probably, you know, hundreds of schools in the US, in the, uh, you know, Canada, wherever you like to go, you know. And you might have collated a list. And it might look something like similar to mine. I mean, I've just like, you know, this is not my actual list. This is just like, you know, kind of just consider it like my actual list all right fine but you know it has these universities schools everything you know now the thing that first you know caught my attention was the deadline is first of december and the uh, the starting date of the application is 10th of september so 10th of september uh first of december that's october november december so that's like more than two months right um okay that's about two months so it's kind of, yeah, more than two months. It's kind of weird because like you have this huge a time period and you know, if this is September and this is December, you could probably push your application date till here and you know, send in your application over here somewhere and maybe use this much time to just better your application, right? Maybe write a better way, so we maybe invest your time in doing research or publishing a new research paper right so there can be a lot of things that you can do maybe maybe do some more projects maybe start your own startup you know i mean the list is endless and you can do all of this but at the end of the day it's about when you should send your application during this whole time period to get the maximum benefit out of it all right so i actually have this mentor of mine who's like probably some 70 75 years old He's been, you know, working with NASA. He's he's a huge researcher. He writes books and everything. Um, so I was kind of keen on this question. So I asked him about this question. Now, remember this, that he has over 50 years of teaching experience. So he he's probably changed schools a lot. And he knows about how the application process goes, uh, goes in, in these schools. Now, I'm sorry I cannot really name him. But, you know, he probably doesn't even know I'm talking about him right now. So yeah, that would kind of be bad for me if I'm naming him, you know, just giving him uh, traction that he doesn't need. Anyway, so what he told me was that it's better to apply as early as possible. And the, the reason is this, all right? So suppose that you have like five schools you have shortlisted or maybe 10 schools you have shortlisted, right? Now, out of those 10 schools, supposedly, two of those schools have rolling deadlines, okay? Now, rolling deadlines would always mean that you should apply as early as possible because when you apply as early as possible, they have, let's say, you know, 100 seats. Just take this for an example, all right? They have 100 seats, okay? And even if your application isn't looking top-notch, they have, like, you know, rolling deadlines and they are just reviewing the applications as soon as they come in. Okay, that's what rolling deadlines mean. So even if, you know, they started the application process today and you send in the application tomorrow and only five other students have sent them, well, they would be looking at those applications as soon as they, they get them, right? And basically, you have a much better chance of getting in when, you, when they have 100 vacant seats as compared to the time when they have only five vacant seats left and your 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 application is potentially you know just a teeny bit more strong maybe 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 you've done like you know a project or something which is kind of insignificant because you know now you only have those five seats to compete for and among among those people would be a lot more qualified people as well you know that with, with a lot more industrial experience probably from better companies google microsoft you name it people people go there from from you know even prestigious companies they don't really you know this this um kind of like you know uh penchant for higher education you would say this can come at any age for anyone really so you don't know what you're going up against first of all all right so especially when they have like you know 95 seats out of those 100 seats covered up maybe they already have a dancer maybe they already have someone who's good at you know starting startups maybe they already have an entrepreneur uh, maybe they already have someone who who you know knows how to basically use instruments or maybe 
maybe who's good at something else you know the the thing is that they already have someone who's better than you or maybe they've just accepted him so they really won't you know care about it but but maybe they don't what they don't have is someone who's you know changed fields from the from the let's say some other industry and he's coming into this industry and he's he's got the same experience as you but then again he also has the experience from the other industry right now that's going to make him a much more credible uh, candidate in this situation because you both have the same kind of experience but at the end of the day he has more experience than you he has a breadth of experience right and i'm not saying that you know the chance uh, the chances are not there when you're applying late i'm just saying that it's better if you apply early especially if you're not doing something something really huge that you think you know would impact your profile in in a way that basically you know even even if they have like five seats left they would they would definitely give one to you right so especially for your ambitious colleges i would like you to apply as soon as possible that is important um i hope i'm making a good point over here let me just tell you about some of these things i've, I've actually researched over you know a lot of a lot of core pages i've actually talked to two or three people from the us i'm i'm in touch with two or three professors from the us one i'm really close to like he's kind of my mentor and i would definitely go on to meet him when i when i go there and uh, yeah i've i've actually researched with him i've done a lot of things you know with the, uh, with that person like i've actually talked to him a lot so that's really you know the kind of relationship i have and if some if that person tells me to do something I'm going to do it. I'm going to go out and make sure that I I follow whatever he says because I know he's got a lot more experience than I do. All right? Now again, the process might vary from school to school. Some schools might just evaluate your profile as soon as the application start coming in, you know, so, you know, 10 September the application process starts over here and maybe they maybe they just start reviewing them from 11th of September. But on the other hand, some schools might just wait till the deadline so some schools might just wait till 1st of december to to you know let all of the applications pile up and only then will they go on to checking your application or really basically you know shortlisting the candidates okay so that's one important criteria to consider again this is variant from school to school and there's probably no way to get get to know about this process unless you have some very powerful people or some faculty members who are involved in each of these schools you have shortlisted all right uh, again if you do have them you should definitely be in touch with them you should definitely contact them because they can tell you the stuff that goes on behind the scenes all right if you don't know anyone this is i would probably not recommend you know going in right now and just telling them about yourself you know it, it would seem like well basically that you're just going there for your own good right i mean earlier if you had applied or maybe if you're watching this video when basically you are you have a lot of time this is january or feb something you know you should contact professors and talk to them about research so that's one thing you can do and maybe try to build on long term relationships because once you do that they will definitely try to help you out during the application process they might even write you letter of recommendations again i'm not going to swerve from the topic over here so i talked about rolling deadlines i talked about why you should apply early because you know your chances get better in most cases and that's why it's better unless you're doing something really huge that would impact your profile or unless you know Oh, applying early is going to basically you know be bad for your profile in some way because m- maybe you haven't even started your statement of purpose i would recommend that you take at least 15 10 15 days and you know work over the drafts and work your way up from there and only when you're finished with it at least satisfied with uh, you know what it is at the moment then go on to apply right sometimes you might even have to write letter of recommendations for yourself because you know some in some schools that's that's how it happens basically in india at least so you you're going to have to do that all by yourself again and you need you need time for that as well right so don't just go into that don't be all hasty try to do all of these things you know manage all of these and once you are ready with your application i mean i'm not saying that 10th september is start uh, like the start date and you should just apply on 11th of september or something i'm saying if you have all the materials ready apply as soon as possible apply 
till the 15th right but if you don't have the materials ready then take your time and try to do it as soon as possible even then right makes maybe maybe in you know october you can apply by the 10th of october that's still good you know, i mean a lot of people will be applying you know late later than you would at least so you still have a better chance of getting into the university right uh one more thing that i want to talk about is one research uh that that was conducted on this topic the research committee was insider insider higher education and the topic of research was again the same same issue that we're dealing with right now and the research was conducted on uh basically data given to them by harvard right so what they noticed was early applicants when they were applying basically harvard would take in 15% of those and this was before the early deadlines but after the early deadlines harvard would take like only you know 3.4% of the applicants so that's one thing to consider i mean definitely the number of applications coming in you know all of that was taken into account but what they finally you know got at what was these numbers that if you if you apply early you have like a 15% chance almost 15% chance and if you apply late you have a 3.5% chance so that's one thing that this research shows us so again applying early will always help you out again you know subject to the constraints i already mentioned uh, one more thing here that you know you can actually go on and research about the school if they what kind of deadlines they have actually you can talk to the people on linkedin if you if you can you know just talk to them from uh, like if if this is like ucla i can talk to people from ucla i actually did talk to them today even for funding and everything i'm going to make a video on that as well like how you can see the funding deadlines and everything but again let's not swerve off topic contact these people who have already gotten into the school got into the same course as you and what you want to do over here is try to ask them like you know when will basically be the best time to apply or when they applied maybe you can ask them and maybe you can take a look at their profile sometimes they mention their gre scores their toefl scores their you know whatever whatever their achievements are whatever their projects are and you can just compare them to yours and that gives you a much more perspective if you should really go into this applying process for this university and if the person says that he's applied really late and he's still gotten in and he has a similar profile as you i mean you can understand that the process is probably like you know not as in the case of the rolling deadlines one right so i hope this video was helpful to you and try to really apply you know as soon as possible like if if you don't trust anything else like i'm telling you you can trust me because i trust my mentor and he's been teaching for 50 years he knows this process a lot better than any of us do so if he is saying that we should apply as early as possible i really believe i highly believe that we should try to go for it okay anyway if this video helped you out give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel right i'll see you in the next one